What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a brand new week of workouts and if you haven't seen any of the other week of workouts that I've done on my channel before, definitely go check them out. In this video specifically, you'll find four fully explained workouts that I did in the gym, two lower body days, two upper body days, but if you don't have access to a gym or you only have minimal equipment at home, I do have other videos for that, specifically for at home workouts, dumbbells only, that sort of thing. I'll leave it all linked down below. But yeah, these videos have become one of my favorites on my channel. I love being able to show you exactly what I'm doing in the gym, explaining everything, especially since I know there are a bunch of people out there who are still new to the gym and are trying to get into their fitness. I wanna be there to help y'all. But yeah, just a couple other things before we get started. All the fits that you're gonna see in this video are from Gymshark, of course. Some of the pieces are newer releases from Gymshark, such as Vital Seamless 2.0, Energy Seamless. I think I also wore a newer collection, the Adapt Butterfly, which is dropping soon. If you guys are ever interested in shopping on Gymshark's site and you wanna support me, definitely feel free to use my link. I am still pretty new to the team. This is gonna be like my second, maybe third month of being an athlete. And it's been so exciting, so fun, and it's been awesome to see you guys support me through that. I seriously appreciate each and every one of you. And one last thing, we are so close to hitting 200,000 subscribers on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, or if you're new to this channel, definitely go subscribe because it would be crazy to hit that milestone. But yes, don't hesitate to tell your friends, your family. Ah, it's crazy, we are so, so close. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Without further ado, let's get into this week of workouts. I just might regret this. I'm just gonna take a little baby super pre-workout even though it's already freaking 7 p.m. Feeling a little low on energy. I did have coffee earlier, but I recently had dinner. Let's just pray that it's not super busy in there. Cheers. Oh my god, mm, so tasty. Here's the pre-workout I use. Today, it is Monday, it's leg day. Had a very busy day working from home. Honestly, didn't think I would make it to the gym today, but I cut myself off, told myself, go to the gym. It'll make you feel better and you can continue working when you get home if you want. But yeah, I'm glad that I'm starting off my week like this because I knew I wanted to film this video and I also haven't done a week of workouts video in my new gym yet. So if you haven't seen the new gym that I'm at in previous vlogs or on my Instagram, whatever, then Welcome, let's let's get to it. We're starting off by masking up for the gym because the mask mandate is back in the Bay Area. Gotta stay safe, y'all. To warm up on leg days, I always start off using my resistance band hip circle thing. And this one is from Suzy B Fitness. I'll leave a link to it down below. Here I'm showing you how I warm up for a lower body day. And then later on this week, I show you how I warm up for an upper body day. But yes, I do squats, Kang squats, I believe they're called basically a hybrid move of good mornings and squats. For my warm-up, I honestly just do moves that I feel like my body needs. Squatting low like this, opening up my hips feels amazing every time. Then I move on to some lateral leg raises and glute kickbacks, about 15 reps each side. Finally, some dynamic stretches, so leg swings, 10 or so on each side, and then sometimes I'll do lunges, reverse lunges, all that. I give myself a good five to 10 minutes to warm up, and this is essential for getting my body ready for the beating I'm about to put it through, and also to prevent injury. So first off, we have back squats, and and I always gradually increase the weight up to my working weight. So I'll start off with just the bar, then 25s on each side to 35s. And then today I stayed at 45. Here's a little tutorial on how I like to set up. So I make sure the bar is centered. I want my neck to be lined up right in the middle so the weight is evenly distributed. Once I'm under the bar, I stand up to get it off the rack. I step back with my right foot, anchor myself down with my left foot, and then readjust my stance with my right foot if needed. I definitely try to limit the amount of steps I'm taking to get set up so I can preserve some energy and also just to keep things nice and simple. I did five sets of 12 reps at this weight and yeah it was tiring usually 10 reps is my sweet spot but i can usually get through that without struggling too much but today we decided to push for a little bit more next i did a superset in my same little area so i set up first for some deficit rdls i'm stepping on top of a plate for some extra leverage and this is going to allow for a greater range of motion the plates as you can see can travel down a little bit further than the ground and i can feel it a lot more in my glutes and hammies i did 10 reps of these and moved on to some sissy squats using the bar on the rack i haven't done these in forever or maybe not at all so i don't know how my form is but i did 20 of these just with my body weight if you want to add more weight to make it more challenging go ahead but yes I completed this super set four times next super set we're starting off with single leg hip thrusts I'm trying to incorporate more hip thrusts into more of my lower body days whether that's with a barbell or with dumbbells I just want to grow the booty you know you know what I'm saying <laughs> 
But yeah, today setting up for barbell hip thrust seemed like a lot of work, so I opted for these single leg ones using a bench and a single dumbbell. One thing I always have to remind myself is to keep my chin tucked close to my chest, also to drive with my hips and glutes. I did 10 of these on each side, and then I did 10 goblet squats, which is great for all parts of the leg. I used a heavier dumbbell for this, and on the 10th rep, I held myself at the low position for 10 seconds. I resisted from counting, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cause come on, I'm only cheating myself if I do it like that. So do hold for a true 10 seconds. Shit burns. I did this superset four times. And finally, I'm finishing off with some hamstring curls. I hardly use machines in the gym, but I was feeling it today. You could also do hamstring curls with a dumbbell while lying on the floor, in case you don't have access to this lull contraption. I did 10 reps at a solid, pretty heavy working weight, and then I dropped weight and did as many more reps as I could. On some sets, I could do five extra, some I could do eight. This little bird out here had me dead. I did four sets of this, and then I was done. I spent just about an hour and 20 in the gym today, which is pretty standard for me. First workout of the week, complete. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I'm stuck in traffic, so I figured I might as well fill y'all in. Right now I'm on my way to my outdoor workout class and if you've watched my videos before, you know every Tuesday, Thursday, I go to a boot camp style workout. We use weights, battle ropes, medicine balls, a mishmash of things. That's been a pretty consistent part of my workout routine. Pretty sure it's been like exactly one year. Yeah, I started going to these classes August of 2020, so it's like my one year anniversary of training with Nia. I do this with four of my other friends and yeah, it's just a good time. I'm not sure if I'll get clips of class today because I'm running really late. On days where I have boot camp, this is usually my main workout for the day, but later in the afternoon, I have a body weight, full body, workout class to teach. It's gonna be all body weight, so no equipment needed, of course. All right, bye guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Workout number two of the day. I always tell myself that as a person running it, do you have the freedom to kind of just hop on and off and join in when I want to, but like part of me just likes doing it alongside the people. It just keeps me in the right headspace. And obviously, you know, I'm talking through it all, but yeah, that was really good. I'm gonna have to shower for the second time today, but it was worth it. I might film a quick workout for Instagram since I already have all my stuff set up. I have my mat, I have my light. I might as well. All right. So today it's actually Thursday and on Wednesday I took a rest day. Usually I leave my rest days for the weekend. But honestly, every week is different for me. I just had a lot of work to catch up on yesterday, so that was my main focus. But today we're back. I just pulled up to the gym, and that's why it's a little bit dark in here. I want to do upper body, but I don't know if I want to do push or pull. I wore my white chucks in case I wanted to deadlift today, but I still don't know. I guess I'll go in there, see how crowded it is, see what's available. But yeah, I'm excited. It's like the middle of the day, which is a weird time for me, but I was running around doing errands this morning. But yes, we made it. Let's get in there and see what we're working with. So I finally decided that today was going to be a push day. We're hitting chest, shoulders, and triceps. This is how I typically warm up for an upper body day. I grab five pound plates or dumbbells and go through the moves you see here. Again, always just doing what my body feels it needs. Another part of my warm up today were weighted push ups. I placed the 10 pound plate on my back and did about eight to 10 push ups, followed by 10 pulses at the bottom. I did this about two, maybe three times, which was plenty, because this had my upper body on fire before even getting into the workout. I started off with bench press today, and I didn't film everything, but I started off with just the bar, then tens on each side, and eventually made my way to 25s on each side, which was feeling so heavy today. Ugh, I don't even know. Sometimes I'm able to rep out like five reps here, but I could only get three, especially since I work out alone and I don't have a spotter. So I did five sets of three reps for this exercise. Next we have a super set for the shoulders and for this I used two sets of dumbbells, one medium and one lighter set. I did 10 shoulder presses using that medium set of weights and immediately went into 10 to 15 more reps with the lighter pair. This was freaking killer and I also did these standing up which definitely requires more core strength and stability in order to control and balance the weight. I usually like to do these seated but there were no benches available and I mean it's always nice to switch things up a bit. I did four sets of this super set. Next, I got a hold of a bench and did these incline bench presses to close grip presses. So one press to one close grip press equals one, and I did eight of these for four sets. 
One last super set for this push day. I did dumbbell flies on a flat bench, head and shoulders rested, feet flat on the floor. I lowered the weight down with arms slightly bent and yeah, down to the sides as far as is comfortable. This is great for the pecs and I feel it especially on the way back up to starting position. I did 10 reps and supersetted that with 10 tricep kickbacks per side, completed this superset four times. And to finish off my time in the gym today, I decided to hop on the treadmill for some sweaty, tready sprints. I packed another pair of sneakers since I was wearing my Converse. Yeah, I was just in the mood for some cardio at the end and we'll definitely be doing this more because it was kind of fun. I walked slash jogged for the first few minutes and then I cranked up the speed to, I think I got up to like 12.5 to 13. Basically, I just sprinted for 30 seconds and then carefully hopped off to the sides to rest for 30. I did this for 15 minutes straight and oof, it was great. If you try this, make sure to be careful when coming on and off. I always hold on to the sides for my first or last few strides. That way I can ease myself on and off the moving tread. Also, running in the mask was definitely not ideal, but we got through it. And yeah, after 15 minutes, I just cooled down for a bit, jogged, fast walked, and then I was done. I was in the gym for a lot longer than usual today, but still under two hours. We are back for another leg day. I've had some time to recover since my last one on Monday, and here's my little setup. I'm starting off with some hex bar deadlifts. It's a cool little contraption that my old gym didn't have, so I decided to play with it. I just step right in the middle, and it allows me to lift the weight around me. I worked my way up to 45s on each side and did five sets of 10 reps here. Something I find kind of frustrating is that with a lot of the heavier exercises that I do, my grip gives out sooner than my body. I have lifting straps, so I might need to use those next time, but ouch. Today was the day I finally muster up some energy to set up for some heavy barbell hip thrusts. Two plates, baby! I know some girls out there be doing three plates or more, but I'm still trying to get into this. I added my band above my knees for a little extra resistance and got right into it. I did 12 reps here, and also I have a little barbell pad on the bar to protect my hips. It's just from Amazon. Immediately after, I did 20 body weight hip thrusts and I completed this superset four times. Sorry that the lighting here is super dark and also the lighting might change and I also might get out of focus. But anyways, next superset, we have sumo deadlifts using one single heavy dumbbell. I don't think I've ever touched a 65 pound dumbbell to be honest, but yes, I did 10 reps of these. And then afterwards I placed the dumbbell standing up on the floor, grabbed a plate, 25 pound plate here, and did 10 goblet squats with heels elevated. We want depth with these, so I made sure to lightly tap my butt on the weight each time, completed this super set four times, and you guys will see I was tired after this. I just set myself down. And finally, we're finishing up with some calf raises. I did single leg calf raises and held a weight in one hand. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Completed that three to four times. That's it, we're done. I was feeling so good, so strong after this one, and I had to admire the lower body pump. Definitely give this one a try, y'all. Good morning, today it is Sunday, and I'm about to get my last workout in for the week. Took a rest day on Saturday and I'm feeling ready to go. We're gonna do some back and buys today and it's gonna be a great time. Where's my pre-workout? Oh. Excuse me. Oh, there she is. There she is. I'm feeling really good about this week and just how I've been staying consistent in the gym. And I think having a rest day on Wednesday and then Saturday was nice because I got to split up my days of training. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, let me know. I literally cannot decide on a song. Final stretch, we have a push day left to complete. I started my workout with some assisted pull-ups. I always keep this band in my gym bag, it's from Amazon. I wanna get to the point where I can just rep out pull-ups like it's nothing, but honestly today my body was feeling just so tired from the entire week, so we did need a little help today. I did three sets of eight to 10 pull-ups. I started off with some conventional deadlifts, so my stance was just about shoulder width apart. I worked my way up to, I think, five by 185. Yeah, but here I'm just repping it out with 135. And guys, I know my form is kind of trash and deadlifts have always felt a bit awkward for me. It's just such a long way down. I don't know. 
But yes, eventually I got up to 185 and I did about three to four sets of five reps. This felt so heavy and my back is so freaking sore even as I'm filming this voiceover right now. Next, we have a super set and for both moves, I set up my bench at an incline. First, we have incline dumbbell rows. Doing this with my chest against the bench allows me to really isolate those back muscles. One thing to note though, I need to try and hold that weight up at the top, even for just like half a second more, just to really feel it and get the full benefit of the move. Squeezing those back muscles. I gotta remember to do that. 10 of these incline rows here, and then I supersetted that with 10 incline straight bar bicep curls. I'm using a 30 pound bar for these and again since I'm laying in this position it really allows me to isolate the biceps and it prevents me from swinging my body and using momentum to get the weight up. I completed four sets of this. One last super set for this pull day I did these seated wide grip rows. This gym doesn't have one of those proper benches by the cable machines or at least I don't think it does. So I just did these on the floor. I did 10 of these seated rows, supersetted with 20 kneeling bicep curls. So 10 on each side, standing, kneeling, sitting. I don't think there's too much of a difference, but I tried this out to see if it would help me not swing the weights up so much. It kind of helps. But yes, we completed four sets of that superset and that was a wrap. Another successful lift in the gym. It took me my usual hour, 20 minutes to get it done. And that's a wrap on this week. All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up another full week of workouts. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try any of these workouts out. I hope this gives you inspiration, motivation, and just the confidence to get in there and get a good lift in. I know how intimidating it can be. And I remember starting out, I always looked for workout videos and just some sort of guidance. I was a lost puppy at one point. <laughs> but yeah, if you end up trying out any of these workouts, definitely let me know. Either leave a comment here on this video or post about it on Instagram. Tag me at San Francisco if you do. But yes, I'll have all the workouts laid out in the description. So if you want to screenshot that, you can reference this video as well in the gym. Do and take whatever you need from this video. I got you. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already thank you all so so much for watching that is it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one